I just wanted to make a quick little video commenting on this since I used to be a very avid supporter of Gab. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so not good. Are you serious? Oh my god. Really? 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 So I figured my opinion on this would be worth one sharing. If you don't know, Gab is essentially a free speech alternative to Twitter, since allegedly people on Twitter have been getting censored for expressing conservative values. So then this new website, Gab, pops up and says, Come over here! And welcome! Welcome to us! You can express any opinion here that you want. And unsurprisingly, a bunch of people who've been getting banned off all these different sites saying things like, I hate gay people, I hate trans people, I hate black people, I hate immigrants, I hate everyone else that isn't me. So Gab essentially markets itself as being a free speech alternative, but the heavily, heavily marketed more toward Republicans, they literally tweet out at people, say, hey, you've been banned over here, well, come over to us, invite, we're, you're invited, it's a huge party here, uh, white person party, yay! In fact, their slogan itself was, make speech free again. Yeah, what better way to express, we accept any opinions, by having our slogan the same one used by a Republican president. But, to be fair, they didn't censor opinions. Until now. Lately, Gab's been going off on Twitter, you know, they spend more time on Twitter than they do on their own website, saying like, Oh, we're gonna ban porn because it corrupts the youth. Not even joking, they're quite literally like, No wonder the whole generation screwed up, because a, a nine-year-old can get onto an iPad and look at pornography. And then when people in the comments section brought up, uh, just install parental controls onto it, ban websites, be a parent. They were like, parents are too busy uh, taking their jobs, both the mother and the father have full-time jobs. You know, maybe you shouldn't allow the iPad to parent your kid and maybe have somebody else take care of them. Maybe be a parent and do it yourself. I understand there's still ways to circumvent parental controls, but essentially blaming the media itself for existing, rather than blaming yourself for not knowing how to regulate the media your child consumes, is ludicrous. They literally said that it isn't speech. I'm sorry, but that statement is completely inaccurate. Pornography is 100% speech. It is expression. Not all pornography is the same. And by the way, your definition of pornography is pretty vague, honestly. Does pornography to you just mean naked people? Does anatomy drawings count as pornography? Is the statement that they're making suddenly different because it's naked people? What about sex ed classes in middle schools? They show depictions of sex, should they be banned? Is that not speech? If a movie contains a sex scene, is the entire point of that movie suddenly lost because of that one sex scene? And if the sex scene is edited out, does it suddenly regain its point? You guys say that speech is anything that makes a statement. So if I just went on your website and wrote gibberish, should that be banned? Does everything on your website really need to have a point? Because if they did, then I recommend banning about 99% of your active user base. If I posted a picture with a sentence on it but replaced the eyes with penises, would the statement be invalidated because it's pornography? If the purpose of you banning pornography is to protect kids from seeing porn, then A, that's not your job, and B, it's unnecessary. Isn't your purpose of your website to be a place where you can share an opinion and not be censored? You realize the Romans made porn art, right? Is that suddenly just pointless now? Your statement of porn isn't speech because it's not making a statement, even though it can and it has. There is pornographic movies that have statements in them. This is a parody that's commenting on the show South Park. But because it's got pornography in it, does that mean it just has no point to it? It comments on the show and makes fun of it. Now, I'm not saying you can't add these guidelines because that'd make me a hypocrite, but it's just simply lying to say that you're a free speech website when you censor a form of expression. Now, I'm sorry if I've offended you with my jokes, but, you know, unlike you guys, I've actually got an audience to entertain here. But yeah, continue censoring people on your stillborn website that was dead on arrival in the first place. Enjoy being the next Tumblr.